सो इवेंट ट्रिगर रेस कंडीशन सो एन इवेंट दैट इज ट्रिगर्ड इन द सेम टाइम स्टेप इन विच अ प्रोसेस बिगिन्स लुकिंग फॉर एन इवेंट मे बी मे नॉट बी सेंस्ड सो दे आर टेलिंग सम इवेंट ट्रिगर रेसेस सो वेरी लॉग प्रोवाइड अ बेसिक इंटर प्रोसेस सिंकोनाइजेशन मैकेनिज्म वाया इवेंट डेटा टाइप सो वी नो दैट देट वी आर इन वेरी लॉग वी आर हैविंग इवेंट डेटा टाइप सो इवेंट डेटा टाइप विल हेल्प अस टू ट्रिगर इवेंट एंड वी कैन पास दैट इवेंट टू सम अदर प्रोसेस सो दैट वी कैन सेंस दैट सो दैट वी कैन मैंटेन अ सिंकोनाइजेशन बिटवीन टू प्रोसेस सो देर आर टू गोचर्स एसोसिएटेड इन वेरी लॉग इवेंट सिंकोनाइजेशन the first gocha may or may not be really be considered as gocha but experience has shown this is to be an issue over the year that is many engineers do not know that the feature even exist in the language and unaware of how to use it so an engineer who have been using verilog for number of years is recently attended a verilog training class with his team so when the section on an event data type and usage was presented the engineer asked if this was something new with system verilog the answer was no that it was in the language since beginning to this uh, to this the veteran verlog engineer replied why hasn't any anyone told me about this before so this is the was uh, one reason they are telling you should avoid using because people are unaware of uh, whether event is there or not the second and the more significant gocha is that there can be easily simulation race condition so what they are telling the race condition in uh, in this code what they are trying to say is they have defined uh, two events get data and send data okay so these are hand shaking flags so initially they are uh, uh, asserting and uh, get underscore data this uh, event okay so whenever this event will come it will execute this uh, process in after exe during execution it will assert send data so whenever send data will come it will execute this process and send data okay so in this simple example the two always block model simple behavioral handshaking using event data type to signal the completion of one block and enabling the other so the initial block is used to start the handshaking uh, sequence so this initial block will trigger the handshaking event okay the gocha lies in the fact that simulation time zero even each of the procedural block must to be activated okay if the initial block get activates and execute before the always block then uh, then the sequence will never st start what is the problem means if uh, this always to always block will execute first means so what will happen always at get data so get data will come from somewhere we don't know so it will schedule it will uh, your simulator will wait for this so no problem always at send data so uh, if this is read then it will yeah uh, schedule this uh, ev uh, event to occur at when send data will come so whenever the, uh, this block will execute it will make a get data transition from x to 1 and this block will see that and it will execute but you take a scenario in different way if this initial block execute first okay in that case it will make uh, get data from x to 1 initially okay after that always at get data so whenever there is a change in get data so you will not never find a uh, get data change because this is initial block and it will only execute once and once if it en enables this get data you you can't see this thing okay so that is what they are trying to say from this thing so it will never execute this so this is a race condition okay in different simulator you may get different results okay so uh, so how to achieve how to uh, remove this go charges so in very log uh, the only way to remove uh, solve this issue is to delay the trigger in the initial block from occurring until all the procedure block has been activated so this means that you have to delay this initial block okay then only the other blocks can see this uh, event okay so that is what they are trying to say that always at get data block activate so if you use hash zero delay means uh, it will uh, ex execute this uh, somewhat later after activation of other always block but uh, using hash zero delay will hold off the triggering of get data event until all the procedural block have been activated okay so this is one of the solution using hash zero hash zero will execute this uh, statement in so hash zero will execute this statement in uh, inactive uh, region okay so usually it is uh, not recommended to use hash zero because uh, uh, mm, because uh, this is not a uh, or you can say that this is not a good coding style okay this is not recommended so this ensure that get data block will always see that's uh, this uh, get data signal change but using hash zero is another gocha if you are using hash zero there is a problem 
so where log hash zero construct is easily abused construct and does not truly ensure the delayed statement will execute after all other statement in the given time step even if you are using hash zero it it will not ensure you okay it will not ensure that all the statement will execute first then only this will execute okay in the same in the given time step many verilog trainer have recommended that hash zero should never be used so there are alternative based on the non blocking assignment that have more reliable and predictable event ordering not use hash zero in good is good coding good guideline okay so that is what i explained you people will always say that don't you go with hash zero this is not good uh, coding guideline this will not ensure you that even if you are using hash zero your statement will execute at last okay except for the event data types so in verilog there are no way to defer the event triggering by uh, to the non blocking event queue okay so you cannot uh, achieve this thing in verilog so so what is the problem is uh, they are telling that you don't use hash zero because it will not tell you that whether your statement will execute at last or not but there is exception for only event data type so with the help of event data type you can use this so how to uh, so system verilog in system verilog how will ensure so system verilog is having a uh, two solution for that okay so we'll remove the event trigger race condition remove the hash zero so first is system verilog defines no, a non blocking uh, event trigger so instead of uh, we have seen blocking trigger that is so there is non blocking trigger that will schedule the event to trigger in the non blocking queue so it will allow your uh, event to execute at non blocking queue so during that time you can easily see that always at okay so this will eliminate the race condition at zero simulation time and eliminates the need of hash zero delay right so you have seen how non blocking event trigger can avoid the race condition in your design okay or uh, in your test bench so triggering the get data event in the non blocking queue allow you for the always procedure to become active before the event is triggered so before if non blocking triggering you have used it will uh, make uh, other events to execute first then only